Hi guys, welcome to Irish Funny Vlogs, and this is the match review of Ireland's 1-0 defeat to Wales and Cardiff. Before we get into that, if you're new, please subscribe, hit your bell notification button so you don't miss the video, and if you like the content, please drop a like. Um, another thing I just want to mention, actually, in the next few days, I've a video coming out with all Leeds TV. That's about uh, the Irish connection, basically, with Leeds, and they're going to rank their top five um, Irish players who've played for Leeds. That'll be out and probably probably be out tomorrow, Monday, so keep an eye on that, guys. Now, on to the game, guys. It seemed that Wales played pretty much a 3-4-3 formation. They had Danny Ward in goal, Mefem, Roden, and Padoos are centre-backs. Nico Williams, Ben Davis as their wing-backs. Uh, Davis in midfield with Morrill. At wide was James and Brooks, and Bale was up front, but was fairly interchangeable. As for Ireland, well, Ireland kind of played basically what was a 4-3-3 system. They played Darren Randolph in goal. Right back was Doherty. Left back was Darrow Shea. Centre back was Kevin Long and Shane Duffy. Midfield, Jason Malumby, uh, Jeff Hendrick and Robbie Brady. On the wings were McLean and Horgan. And up front was Adam Ida. Now, obviously, Wales win this match 1-0. First half, um... I think it was pretty much even, to be honest with you. I think Wales' best chance came from Garrett Bale. It was a 40, roughly 40, 35, 40-yard 40 free, um, which went over the bar. But I think Randolph had that one covered. Ireland had a couple of opportunities in the half as well. Um, I think their best one went to Robbie Brady, Daryl Horgan. Lovely little ball into the box. McLean back post, well cleared. Came out to Brady. Good effort in fairness, just over the top. Um, for my, me, the story of the half, though, the, was that Worrell should have been sent off, or Morrill, rather, should have been sent off for Wales. I mean, I don't know where it says in the rule book that you can actually kick a player, deliberately make contact and receive a yellow card. If I'm wrong, um, please let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's a red card. The referee's right beside it and failed to give it. So, in fairness to Ireland, they didn't get any luck there. On to the second half, uh, Wales scored at 67, but before that... I think Ireland were pretty in control of this game. Honestly, I thought they were uh, they were on top. They created a number of opportunities. Um, you know, were calm in possession. And Wales weren't a threat up to the point they scored. They really weren't a threat at all. So when they did score through David Brooks, it was against the run of play. And sick and feeling for Ireland to go one down after playing reasonably well. And I think that knocked the stuffing out of Ireland for a couple of minutes, to be fair. Um... Wales had a couple of opportunities after that, to be fair, as well. Uh, most notably, Brooks forcing a very good save from Darren Randolph to keep it 1-0. You know, it's a disappointing one. I mean, you know, after that, Ireland, you know, they a couple of half chances on that. I th did think they hit the post late on. It's hard to see. I didn't actually see the replay, but they hit the post, I think, late on Ireland as well. But Wales had a couple of little opportunities in the counter-attack where they could have really wrapped it up and made it 2-0, to be honest. But up to the point they scored, which was 67 minutes, as I say, Ireland were given as good as they got, if not better. Wales weren't a threat at all. But, you know, it's another game where Ireland, obviously they lose the match, another game where Ireland don't score a goal. Um, and that's very disappointing, I have to say. It is extremely disappointing that we were struggling to score goals. That said... This is not something new. It's not something new. We struggled to score goals for years. I mean, we scored what, five or six goals in the last qualifying group under Mick McCarthy. Something we've struggled badly to do. At least this time in general, we're not playing in such a fashion that we're defending the 18-yard box, like, you know, hoping for a nil-nil and catch a break. We're trying to play football. So you can see the effort in the players is there. I think the other good thing, I suppose positive I would take from this, is the fact at one stage... Five under-21 players were on the field to play. That will stand them in good stead. And Connolly is another one we we're missing. I do think um, we're lacking that dynamism on the wings, though. You know, McLean and Horgan. Horgan, good worker. McLean, good worker. But we could do with, you know, maybe Connolly or Robinson on the wings to uh, support Ida a bit better because those players aren't the type of players that are going to support the striker. We've no one in midfield that really does that either as well, in fairness, um, I have to say. But... You know, looking at some of the player performances now, obviously Randolph did fairly well. I was happy enough, relatively happy with Doherty and O'Shea at left back. O'Shea, you know, a player who's generally a centre back, but has played many games at right back for West Brom in the Championship. I thought he'd done fairly well at left back, considering 
you know, not really left foot or anything like that. In fairness, Long and Duffy were pretty decent at centre back. Duffy got a yellow card in the second half. And in fairness, I mean, he's going up to head the ball and so is the Welsh player. The heads clash. I'm not really sure how it was a yellow card was given to any player there. Never mind, you know, just given to Duffy. But, um, you know, I thought they were decent enough at centre back, to be fair. Um, Ireland were really carved open, as I said. There was a few opportunities, yes, after Wales went in front to 67, but all in all, you know, the defence did a good job. Midfield, Malumpy done reasonably well. Disappointing that he's going to miss a Bulgaria game for his, you know, development in the team and that, um, because he got a second yellow. That came from that incident where Morrill should have been sent off, to be fair. Um... And Brady, I thought Brady did really well. I thought Brady was our best player overall. I think um he did look to make things happen in fairness. And, you know, he struggles with fitness. He's had so many injuries, to be fair, and he was taken off late on. Um, The other man, Jeff Hendrick, I thought was an absolute disgrace and disaster today. I really did. I thought his performance the last day was okay. <laughs> this game, he really riled me up, I have to say, especially in that second half. I mean, there was one opportunity there where he took a shot from about 45 yards out, to be honest, um, when everyone was back for Wales. Ricocheted off a Welsh player. Anyway, he tried to clear it, made a balls of that, and Brooks nearly made it 2-0. Good save, Randolph. Brooks will feel he should have scored. The worst incident for me, from Hendrick's point of view, was he was he lost the ball stupidly again in the middle of the park. No idea what he was doing here either. Um, he actually tried to take the Welsh player down. And the, but the intent was there, so he got a yellow for it, which is fair enough. He completely missed, so he couldn't even fucking take the, the Welsh player down when he tried to kick him. Unbelievable. Um, gets a book on for that. Um, his whole body language, his attitude, I thought was absolutely deplorable. He's a player that annoys people most of the time, but at least you say a lot of the time the effort is there, but I'd seriously question that tonight. I thought his attitude, his body language and all that was deplorable. And when he got sent off at the end, you know, that nearly sent me over the edge to be on second yellow. Um, you know, it was a case of, you know, he didn't really, it was like whatever was his attitude, like, you know, that kind of way. And obviously he'll be spent for the next game. And uh, I didn't like his attitude today at all. Um, he does things in games that are very poor normally, but usually it's a, well, at least he's trying, he's closing down that. But I didn't like his attitude at all. I thought... He pissed me off, basically. Really pissed me off, I have to say. Um, <laughs> getting away from that, essentially. On to Bulgaria now. We'll be looking to obviously score, hopefully, and get a result. We're panicking a bit in front of goal as well because the confidence is down in that sense. I do like the style of football we're trying to adopt, though. Um, you know, there'll be people saying Kenny out and all this kind of rubbish as usual, and they'll be delighted with that result tonight because um, it gives them ammunition, you know, that kind of way. But um, that's about it, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Am I a bit harsh on Hendrick? Uh, am I right? Uh, who do you think played well? Who do you think didn't play well? And I'll leave it there, guys, and I'll see you later. Good luck. See you now. Bye-bye.